Welcome to Cornwall Car Care. So, next up we have this 2023 Ford Mustang. Five litre. It's absolutely gorgeous. The colour, these lights don't show it. I'm hoping we're going to get some sun uh, in, in a few days time so I can get it outside and have a look but it almost looks black dark purple and then when you shine a light on it it goes well it changes from blue to purple it looks absolutely oh it's nice um, so I'll try and get some footage of that a bit later on so this is having well it's a new car preparation um, but unfortunately there's quite a lot of swells and scratches on it so this has been upgraded to a dual stage enhancement um, this is going to be finished off with kamikaze zapang for the protection wheels are coming off they're going to be waxes dead heat g-technic g1 for the glass and system x interior to protect all the interior geon trim for the trim work what a car Woo! So, it's been outside, it's had all the wet work done, which you probably would have seen already. Um, just going to go around, blow dry all the panel gaps, get it in the detailing studio, and get to work. Wash, decontamination, paint depth measurements, taped up on the Mustang. This is a very unique colour. I'm going to try and find out what it's called, uh, but let's have a quick walk round. Um, originally this was a single stage. Um, there's quite a lot of swells and scratches. It's not too bad, but a single stage I don't think is going to be enough so this one is going to be a dual stage enhancement but let's have a quick look and uh, I'll try and show you the colour as well get me light so up here you can see the swells and scratches yeah it's for a brand new vehicle that's done 200 miles uh, we got quite a bit. 
You can just see them there as well. But again, we can see some swirling and some scratches. It's not too bad, but I just, from when it came in for its expect in for when it came in for its inspection, um, I just don't think a single stage is going to be enough. So we've got some more scratches all on the front here. So they've got to be taken care of on the gloss black trim down there as well. There you go. So yeah, so we've got a bit of work to do on this one. But, oh, there you can see the color change. So blue, purple, blue, purple. Some more swirling, look at that color change. I hope it's sunny when I get to do some after photos. What the back lights like? Oh, so even they're quite swirly. Not too bad, but definitely gonna look a lot better when they're done. What's the back? Even this gloss black at the back, it's a bit stained. So that's all gonna get polished and ceramic coated. Oh, we've got a nice scratch there. Just there by the light. So we have to see if we can get that one out. But overall, I mean, obviously it's got 200 miles on it, so it's not gonna be bad. Um, but yeah, definitely got some work cut out. So I'm gonna get my test panel set up, um, get my pads and polishes out, make a start and see what's going to work and what's not going to work. Right, let's get polishing. So this side hasn't been touched yet and you can see the swells and the scratches. Now I did try Cartec 9000 on its own but it didn't remove the deeper scratches that are on there. You can see some of them just there. Now it's quite bloomy. And then across this side, so this has been cut with a microfiber cutting pad and Geon Compound Plus, and then refined with Geon Primer on a white Kartec pad.
Cutting stages finally complete. So, obviously in the cutting stage, we're removing scratches, um, but it's also knocked down some orange peel as well, which is always good. Um, this suffered quite bad with orange peel. It's still there, but it's knocked it down a bit and brought out more gloss. Uh, but yeah, that's looking absolutely awesome. So yeah, gonna get everything wiped down with Geon Prep, uh, dust down, wipe down, getting all the panel gaps, and then it's refinement stage. And this is having Geon Prime up uh, the refinement. That will then cure for 24 hours, and tomorrow we'll do the coating. So once it's refined, I'm then gonna go out, get the wheels cleaned, decontaminated, ready for coatings tomorrow. Right, let's get on with some wiping down and primering. Primering? Geon Primer. <laughs> Another little update on the Ford Mustang. So obviously all the cutting is now complete. I'm now onto the refining stage. Geon Primer for this one. Uh, it's working oh, so well, so well. Some paints I find that it's a little bit tricky to work with, but on this one, ready so obviously here this is after it's been cut um, yeah you can see it's quite chewed up a little bit Let's see if I can go in a little bit uh, so you can see it's quite chewed up and then after Geon primer Look at the difference. That's, that's pretty impressive. Um, so yeah, so I've now got the whole car to do. Oh, it's gonna look so good when it's done. Right, I'm gonna put the camera down. I'm gonna crack on with this. End of day two on the Mustang. So no distractions today, and I got low, well, I got all the polishing completed. So yeah, for me, that's a lot to get the cutting, well, the wash decontamination, cutting stage and refining stage in two days. I'm happy with that, really, really happy. So where are we at at the moment? That is now gonna be left for 24 hours. This has had Geon Primer, uh, which lays down a base uh, for a coating to bond to. So yeah, so that's gonna be left for 24 hours. So tomorrow morning, which is Monday morning, wheels are gonna be outside, decontaminated, brought in and coated. Trim coating, glass coating, and then hopefully that'll be ready for the paint coating to go down. And this one's having Kamikaze Zapang. Um, but yeah, a few bits on the trim. Right, you see these white marks here on the inside of the door up here there's loads of wax obviously where they spray it in the holes so i've got to clean a bit of that off but yeah on both sides we've got a bit of that that it's a brand new car and i've made a massive difference <laughs> um even the cutting stage with a microfiber pad knocked down some of the orange peel. The orange peel is still there, but it's knocked it down visibly, and it's now added even more gloss, but... Yeah, I mean, the bonnet's quite impressive as well. <laughs> Sorry, I'm... I can't wait for Zabang to go down. Um, right, so that's enough for me on a Sunday. Nice and early tomorrow, and resume on the Mustang. Right, so straight away on Monday morning, we're 
going to get the trim work completed first. Um, I've got a couple of ballets to do in a bit, so if I get the trim work done now before I make a start on the ballets, I'll be happy. Try and get my head out. Gion trim for the trim work. In, in the other videos, it's such a nice and easy, easy product to apply. And it's just started raining outside, lovely. So yeah, so the paint coating, that is going to be this afternoon's job and that is having kamikazes a pang for that one uh, the wheels are going to have wax is dead heat and they'll be I want to get the ballots done before I make a start getting the wheels prepped and ready so uh, yeah if I can get trim and glass uh, done before the ballots, then get the ballots done, and then we'll get in and do the wheels and the paint coating. Yeah.
paintwork coating time, yes. So the trim has been coated, the glass has been coated, the wheel arches, the wheels have been outside, been fully washed and decontaminated, so they're ready for coatings. It's now that time of the day, the unit is up to temperature. As you can tell, I've got my hoodie off. So yeah, paintwork coating. This one is having Kamikaze Zapang, one of their top pro coatings. So I'm gonna do a final wipe down with Geon Prep. Got my trolley all filled up with everything that I need. Headphones, we're good to go. So yeah, Kamikaze Zapang, let's get to it. Well that is Kamikaze Collection, so pang, all laid down on the paintwork. So, glass, paintwork, trim, arches, all fully coated. Next up, we've got the wheels. So uh, let's get on with that. And then I think, apart from interior, that is all the coatings finished. So yeah, let's get on with the wheels and get them protected. So. Next up, we have the wheels. Um, where the tyres have been fitted, there's a few marks on the wheel. Uh, we have a ring around here. I'll bring you in in a second and show you. Um, and some scratches on the wheel itself. So, uh, right, let's get this off. So you can see on the spoke, we've got some scratches. And then up here, on that top edge and that's where the tires been tight going on and on this spoke as well but yeah all of them are you can see the swirls Yeah, so I think they're gonna benefit from a quick, a light polish over the front, just to help tidy it up a bit. So, uh, yeah, Geon Primer on a little white pad on the hybrid.
Exhaust cleaned with Brightmax Easy Cut. Really nice product to use again. So, these are gonna have wax is dead heat as well, but we're just gonna get, first give it a, a wipe down. This is Spires Hecker. So yeah, just give them a nice wipe down. Wax is dead, heat! Coating, right, so that could go. So what have I got left? Got to get the wheels on, get them torqued up, tyres dressed. Uh, now we're gonna make a start on the interior. Yeah, so we'll get the interior done, get the wheels back on, get it back on the floor, and just button everything up. Tightening the wheels up next. So we've got 204 newton meters, which is pretty tight. Doing the locking wheel nut up to that tight. That's the wheels talked up. So, we're almost there. Glass inside. I'm just waiting for the mats to dry. They've got their protectant on, so they're drying at the moment. Uh, door shuts, make sure engine base finished. Then we're done. Well that is another one completed. 2023 Ford Mustang GT in, I still don't know what the color is. Blue, purple, shifting, it looks awesome. Um, so originally this was a new car protection package, which is a single stage machine polish. When it came in for its inspection, we noticed there was quite a few deeper marks and scratches all around the vehicle. So this was moved up to a, a dual stage enhancement. One cut, one refine, uh, which worked absolutely perfect on this paint. And you would have seen earlier on um, that the paintwork got a little bit chewed up on the cutting stage. And then after we refined it with Geon Primer, you would have seen the 50-50 on that. It was insane, absolutely incredible. So the paintwork was finished off with Kamikaze Zapang. What a coating that is. Even though it looked stunning before, it, that coating, Kamikaze Zapang, added so much gloss and depth to the paintwork on top of what already looked incredible. Gion trim, 
uh, G-Technic G1 for the glass, g -on leather shield for the interior, Wax is Dead heat for the wheels, g -on tire for the tires, obviously. Oh. <laughs> oh, I'm so happy with that. <laughs> oh, what a machine. What a machine. God. So this one's being picked up today. This is the third vehicle I've done for the customer as well. So I just want to thank him for coming back for more work. Um, it is very much appreciated. What a car. But yeah, a little. Kamikaze's a pang. Again, I, I, I don't know what to say. Well, that about wraps up this detail. Thank you to all the new subscribers to the channel. If you're not subscribed, please do. Hit the notification bell and you'll get a notification when a new video gets released. Ford Mustang GT completed. Let's roll some afters.